thank you for subscribing to my channel and for sharing with your friends in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodice pattern the basic bodice is the upper part of your body from your shoulder to your hip line and this pattern we're going to be drafting today will be useful for most of your projects you can use it for your tops your jackets and your dresses so if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i make a new video let's get started for this tutorial i'll be using my cutting mat pattern paper a pair of scissors for cutting, French curve and ruler for measuring out and curving out all the curved edges. I'll use this curved part to measure them out. I'll be using my erasable pen, a marker to make it bolder for you to see, and my measuring tape to measure out and cut the measurements needed for the drafting of the bodice pattern. First, I will roll out some pattern paper. I have neatly cut out my pattern paper and it measures about 30 inch length and 26 inch width. And I've placed it on fold as I'll be using one part of it for the front bodies and the other part for the back bodies. I'll make sure I cut it so that the edges will be straight, nice and smooth. I'll make sure they are equal all around so that you get the appropriate dimensions that you will need. For this pattern, we're not going to add any seam allowance except for the dart allowance, but it will not have a seam allowance. But each time you want to use it on a fabric to make a dress, you have to add your seam allowance to it. So we'll just go straight and take the vertical measurements of the body. First, we measure the bust line. The bust line is the distance from the shoulder to the bust point, okay? And for this, we're using 10.5 inch for the bust point. Then we're using 16.5 inch for the waist or the half length. Then 12 inch for the hip to get the hip line. Okay. So now we're going to measure the horizontal dimensions the most measurement is 42 we're going to divide 42 by 4 and it gives us 10.5 and we'll mark it here 10.5 then our waistline our waist measurement is 36 we divide 36 by 4 and it gives us 9 but we're going to add 1 inch for the dart allowance so that makes it 10. So we'll measure out 10 inch. Then for our hip line, our hip measurement is 44. We're going to divide 44 by 4, then we'll get 10. 44 divided by 4 is 11. Then we'll mark it out here. Now we'll go ahead and draw out our horizontal lines horizontal dimensions yes. that's the hip line this is our waist line and this is the post line so so that so as not to forget let's just quickly write it down so this is the hip line waistline and the post line okay. 
Then we're going to go ahead and measure out our shoulder. The shoulder measurement is 16. So all we have to do is to divide 16 inch by 2. The fastest way of doing it is to fold your tape into two and it gives us 8 inch. We're going to measure out 8 inch here for the shoulder and mark it. Then we're going to measure out the neckline. The neckline is going to be 3.5 inch wideness and 3.5 inch depth. You can alter it to a V neck, or alter it to a round neck. We're just going to go ahead and make a normal round neck. So now we have to join our lines. We know that our shoulder is not straight, so we have to slant this line by one inch. So we'll come down by one inch from the shoulder and draw the shoulder. Our upper chest measurement is 37. So we're going to divide 37 by 4. It gives us 9.5. But for ease movement of the arms, we're going to add 1 inch. And that makes it 10.5. So we'll go ahead and measure out our 10.5 inch from here. Then we draw the line again. So that's 10.5. Now we're going to draw a straight line from the shoulder slant, shoulder slope to the upper chest. Cover out the armhole and join the lines from the both upper chest to the hip line. I'm going to use my French cup to connect the lines. From this shoulder edge to the upper chest, we derive the midpoint. The total measurement is 7.5, so we're going to derive half of 7.5. Okay, then we'll come in by 0 0.75 inch. So this is our back bodies. We we'll quickly make a notch to differentiate and this one will now form our front bodies. So we'll just use our French cuff to join the lines to differentiate between the front and the back bodies. Armhole. So this is our armhole for the front bodies. We'll join the lines. After joining the line, we use our French cuff to smooth things out. As our body does not have such edge, we'll cover it up a bit at this point. So, that's our front bodies. Next, we're going to create our darts. The simple way to create that is to measure the bust span. The bust span is the distance between the two nipples. It's the measurement from one nipple to the other nipple. So, for the bust span of this body is 9 inch. So what we're going to do is to divide the bust span by 2. So we'll divide 9 inch by 2 is 4.5. So we'll just measure, go ahead and measure out 4.5 from our waistline. Then we'll measure 4.5 from our hip line and mark it. We'll measure another 4.5 from our bust line and mark. Then, on our upper chest, we also measure and mark. So we level it upper chest.
Next, we're going to come down by one inch. From the bust line, we'll come down by one inch. Then from the hip line, we'll go up by two inch. Then from the waistline, we're going to measure, mark half inch to this point and half inch, half inch to the midpoint and half inch to the other end. Then we'll go ahead and connect the lines, making a triangle. We we'll use the straight ruler to connect these lines. From the one inch point below the bust line. So basically the dart is one inch below the bust line and two inch above the hip line. So we'll join these lines. Next, we're going to go ahead and create the side dart. To create the side dart, we'll just derive the midpoint from the bust line to the waist line. We'll derive the midpoint, okay? So the midpoint is three inches because we have used the whole length is six inches. So from this midpoint, we're going to measure out one inch away from the bust line again to derive the side that okay so this is the side that we have gone one inch that way then on the midpoint we're going to go half inch up and half inch down to we'll mark it mark half inch up and half inch down then we'll join the lines from that point to one inch from the bust point okay this is the apex, so we've moved one inch from the apex towards the armhole, and we've also marked the midpoint from the, between the bust line and the waist line. So now we're going to go ahead and connect this half inch we moved away from the midpoint with a straight ruler. That's our side guts. So this is our front bodies. Remember, here is the center front. This is our center front. Let's tag it so that we will not forget. And this is our front bodies, okay? From the center front, we go down by one inch to create the back bodies, the back neckline. So we we'll join the lines now. That's it. Now we'll go ahead and cut. So I have just cut out the side of the pattern all i need to do now is to extend the lines to make our back bodies after drawing up all the lines i will now separate the two the front and the back block so i've just transferred all my details from the front to the back body so i'll just go ahead and cut the armhole for the front block. I also cut the neck line for the front. So now we've cut out our front and our back bodies. 
the difference major difference between the front bodies and the back bodies is that the dart line for the back bodies goes one inch below the upper chest but that of the front bodies goes one inch below the bust line so this one is a bit higher than the front one then it's two inch above the hip line as well as the front panel so that another difference is that we transferred the that but we didn't transfer the side that the back bodies does not have the side that also the armhole for the front bodies is deeper than that of the back block and the neckline as well is higher for the back and that than that of the front body so basically those are the major details that we did not affect in the back piece note that these patterns we did not add seam allowance to it because each time you want to cut your dress that's when you add your seam allowance if you're making a project that requires a zip all you need to do is to add your extra zip allowance on the center back of your pattern and the seam allowance as well you add your extra seam allowance on the areas you want your seam allowance to be and the fabric will be placed on fold at the center back and center front for while using this pattern the beauty of this block is that it can be altered like if you want to make a gown you can use it all you need is the measurements it forms the upper part of your body from your shoulder to the hip line so you can alter it to make a top to make a jacket to make a dress you can make it a bit longer or reduce it to the waistline to make like dresses that have a cut on the waist but you can actually use it for so many of your projects you wouldn't need to be drafting bodies each time you want to make a fresh project so this is our basic body block thank you so much for watching and i really appreciate your time if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on that red button subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and give it a thumbs up